So these videos will be still on subgroups. Um, we will see some other examples of subgroups. Let us begin with one example. Let G be a an abelian group with the identity E. Then H. This set X in G such that x squared equals the identity is a subgroup of G. Okay, so here the defining property of H is uh, this condition, right? So this is the defining property of H. So to start with, we, we have an identity with identity. So H is non-empty. Okay, and we can see that E squared, the identity squared, equals the identity. So H is non-empty. I just wanted now quickly uh, remind you about the, um, in the previous video. We saw this, uh, we proved this one step subgroup test. Let G be a group and H a non-empty subset of G. Then H is a subgroup of G if H is closed under division. That is, if A, B inverse is in H. Okay, whenever A and B are in H. So this was the, 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 the for, for A and B, so for A and B in H, if A operation B inverse is in H, then um, H is a subgroup. Okay, so now we assume that um, we assume that A and B are in H. Um, this means a squared equals identity, because that's the condition, right? Um, and b squared equals the identity. Okay? So we must show that a b inverse square, so this would be an element like any other, equals the identity right so if this happens right h will be a, a subgroup okay but so g is a billion okay so since g is a billion we can write a b inverse squared equals a b squared, a b squared, okay, that's the, the, the square here. So do not forget that um, g is an abelian group, so this is the same as writing a squared b inverse squared, right, these two and these two here, and that equals um, here a squared, right? So I can interchange this one, okay? B squared inverse. So A squared by the condition will be E, right? And B squared will be E to the, the inverse and that will be the identity, okay? So we conclude that A, B1, B inverse uh, is in H and by the, is in H and by the one step subgroup,
test h is a subgroup of g. So now we look at another example. Let g be an abelian group under multiplication with identity. Okay, so we have g, but this time under under multiplication. Okay, then h x squared such that x is in g is a subgroup of g. So h is the set in a certain way. H is the set of full squares. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us begin with the. I don't know it. With let G be an abelian group and a mod with identity. Okay. So the identity squared will be the identity. Right. So the identity is in the correct form. Okay. Checked. Okay. Now we pick um, two elements in H, A and B in H, okay, two arbitrary elements. So, oh, but the elements in H will be A squared and B squared, right? Okay, we have to show that A squared, B squared, um, inverse is in in the correct form right and x squared formed so since g is a billion uh, we can write a squared Yes, we can write it in this this way, right? B squared inverse. Okay. And this is yes, this is we can write this as right a squared. Yes. So and so this is in the correct form, right? This is x squared. This is in the correct form. Okay, thus H is a subgroup of G. And this concludes the proof. Okay, we're going to answer now this uh, very practical question how to prove a subset of a group is not a group under the, the performed operation. We have many ways. I'm going to show you three ways to prove that. One, show that the identity is not in the set. Uh, if you remember well, the identity of the group has to be in the subset for the subset to be a subgroup. Second, find an element of the set whose inverse is not in the set. Three, find two elements of the set whose product is not in the set. So one example will be a group G of course, a non a group of non-zero real numbers, okay, non-zero real numbers and uh, multiplication, and we pick H. That's x in G such that x equals one, or x is an irrational, irrational number. Okay. We're going to see that H is not a subgroup of G. We are going to prove this using this uh, third way of finding that a certain subset is not a subgroup. Find two elements of the set whose product is not in the set. 
for instance here square root of 2 is in h right because x is an irrational number square root of 2 is an irrational number okay but square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals 2 and 2 is not in h okay so we just found two elements of the set these two are elements of the set whose product is not in the set so h h is not not a subgroup of g now we have another subgroup of g k so g is the group of non-zero real numbers under multiplication okay and we take the subset uh, k as a subset of g right um, k equals x is in g such that x is greater or equal to 1 okay let us prove that this one is not a, this set is not a subgroup um, we are going to use this second rule find an element of the set whose inverse is not in the set we pick an element in the set um, like 2 2 is in k right yes but the inverse is not in k right because one half is not greater than one okay so k is not a subgroup of g